In this example, uh, we have the following integrals. Okay. And we want to evaluate these integrals using the geometry. So we're going to sketch the following regions okay, for each of these integrals and then use, use that to uh, find the, uh, the value of the integral. Okay, so on the first one, we have the integral from minus a to a of 4 dx. Okay, so that is basically we have y equals to 4. Okay, so that's just a horizontal line. Okay, let's say it's here. And this is going between minus a and a. So let's say minus a is here and positive a is over here. Okay, so we have this boundary and this boundary. Okay, so therefore the region that we're interested in is right between 4, right, between y equals 4 and the x-axis and between negative a and a. So that is the region. And that area of that region is going to give us our value for the integral. Okay, so the area here, okay, we have basically we're going to have base times the height. And so this is going to give us, we have on, for the base, we have 2a. Okay. And for the height, we're going to have 4. So this is going to give us the value of 8 times a. So that is the solution for this integral. Okay. Next one is we have the integral of x going between 0 and 2. Okay. So the function here is going to be y equals to x. Okay. So we have basically just the identity function. Okay, and we're going between 0 and 2. So 0 is here at the origin, and let's say 2 is out here somewhere. Okay, so there's the, there's, the, there's our region. Okay. So if, to get the solution of this integral, right, we're going to use the area of the triangle. Okay, so the area here is going to be one half times the base times height. And so we have the base is 2, and the height is going to be equal to 2 because this is for our, our function y equals 2x. So when x is 2, y is 2. So therefore, we have the value of 2. So the solution to this integral is 2. Okay. okay, so the next one we have is for, uh, it's going to be the integral of square root of r squared minus x squared going between negative r and r. Okay, so the way we think about this, okay, is that we let, if we let y be equal to the square root of r squared minus x squared, then what we can do is we can take the square of both sides. So we have y squared equals to r squared minus x squared. And this is going to give us x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. So basically this is, right, we have, this is giving us the equation of a circle, okay? All right, so I'm gonna, Okay, so here's our circle. Okay. Okay, I'll try to center that a little bit more. Okay. So this equation that we have here, okay, right, this is an equation of a circle with centered at the origin with radius r, okay.
Okay, however, uh, because we're an original function, okay, Okay, we had the positive square root. So that's going to correspond to the values above the x-axis. Okay, so we really just have this part of the circle here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to shade that in here. So it's really just this part. Okay, just the top half. Okay. Okay, again, because we have the positive square root here. If we have a negative square root, then it's going to be the bottom half. Okay, and our bounds, right, we're going between negative r and r. So here's minus r, here's positive r. Okay. Okay, so our region is going to be this part here. That's the top half of this circle. Okay, so therefore, okay, the area, the area is going to be equal to one half pi r squared. Okay, and that's the solution to this integral. Okay, okay. So that is the that is how you can use geometry to uh, evaluate integrals. Okay.